Hello, my name is Shayna and I'm a graphic designer and I help out Laura of iHeartPlanners.com with all her graphic needs. I'm excited that she's invited me to do this video tutorial to explain how easy it is to make beautiful landing pages with one of our favorite resources, Instapage.com. To begin with, I want to share just a couple examples of how these pages turn out. This is uh, one that Laura created for the Sweet Life Planner Club. I just want to scroll through here and show you this finished product. So different background colors, different icons, explanations of the products, images, a buy now button. Um, all of this is easy to pull together in Instapage. Another example that I want to show is one that I made for a live workshop that Laura offered recently. Um, so graphics created, sign up button, um, explanation of what was going to take place inside the workshop, uh, little bios for both Laura and Crystal who were presenting it, um, sign up button here, and then a, a brief description of what was going to take place within the workshop. So um, what I want to do for you today is walk you through how to build your own landing page in Instapage and the end result is going to be this. Um, this is one that I created previously and I just want to show you how easy it is to um, bring all of these elements together within Instapage without any coding knowledge to make a beautiful landing page of your own. So let's jump over to Instapage and get started. This is a dashboard of Instapage and at the top you'll see a button where you can click to create new page. Then pick a template. Now, as you can see, Instapage offers many different templates that you can literally just replace your images and your text and you're good to go. But for today's tutorial purposes, we're going to start with blank page and we'll call it test. So this is what the interface inside Instapage looks like. We are literally starting with a blank page. So what we need to gather are our graphic elements, the images we want to use, and our copy. So here is the copy. We'll be able to literally copy and paste the words over. And then these are the images and graphics that I've pulled together for our page today. So to begin with, I always want to have Laura's logo and a link to her website at the very top. That keeps everything consistent. So what we do is go to add new. It's going to be an image. Now inside the image library here on the side, you can click on um, different folders. What I end up doing is add a new folder every time I create a new page so that all of the images for that specific page will be gathered together. This is the start a blog page. So as you can see, everything's been uploaded. What were we going to start with? The logo. So you literally hover over and click insert. Then you can click it and move it into place. These blue lines here represent the um, sections within the page. And this top header section just needs to be skinny. So next, we're going to add just a direct link to iHeartPlanners.com. Once again, add new. It's going to be a paragraph. So you can see this explains how to use it. Click here to add or edit your own text. So double click www.iHeartPlanners.com. Then select it and link. So there's many different options here, but what we're going to do is an outside URL. Once again, iHeartPlanners.com. Done. So now you can make their um, text box the size that you need it and then drag it. And green lines will show up so that you can get things aligned properly. So these are centered together. So there you go. One section done. Now, as you can see over on our example page, we have um, a background image with text and the sign up button over top of it. So now let's 
go back to here and I'll show you how to get that done. So as you can see, we've got the header section and then this next section here, um, you can click on this little pop-up button and then click edit. This gives you the background details for this one little section. You can pick a color or you can pick an image. So once again, this takes us to our image library and we'll go to start a blog. And the one we want is this one with her typing. So we click insert. So what this does is it stretches and makes it fit the whole length, the whole width, I mean, of your page here. But as you can see, there's a little bit of a difference in size and opacity of the image. Here's how to do that. It's called overlay color. So you just click on a light color like that and you can make it increase or decrease in opacity. So we'll put it right there. Now, to make the image uh, the same size, we just literally bring this up. Except now look, you can't see all the keyboards, the keyboard where you could here. So how we do that is go back into edit and we're going to play here with this position. If you click this one, it brings it so however big or small your um, browser is, it always has the center of the image going to the center of the section. So for this instance, that's the one we want. So just click done and then you can come back to here. So now what we're going to do is add the title of our page, a little bit of a description, and a uh, buy now button. Once again, click add new. This is going to be an image. This is a graphic I created um, in Photoshop and it was saved as a PNG file, which is why you can see um, the little checkerboard background on all of these. That makes them see-through, so it wouldn't have a white box around it when you insert it. See, you can see the background in the image behind the words. Once again, that is a PNG file. So no matter what um, graphic design software you're using, whether um, Illustrator, Photoshop, or free online, you can use Canva, just be sure to save it as a PNG so that you can get this um, see-through background on your images and texts. So there we go, the title of the page is there. Now we've got this explanation and we're literally going to copy it from our notes here. We're going to add new paragraph and then paste. So what can we do from here? We can make this stretch out and then we can make the font bigger. So maybe even center it then you can just play with the sizing and how it works for you. All right, next up is our sign up now button. Add new button. I mean, really, can it get any easier? So once again, look for the green line there. That means it's centered with the other elements on your section. And now we're going to edit this button. We're going to change the text of the button to sign up now, not not. And then we can change the color as well. So over here we did purple. So button color, there's our purple. We can also change the font size here. And you can change the text add other um, image effects, make it rounded, just easy as that. And for now we are done with that. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next section here where we'll be adding the explanation of what you'll learn inside the course. So what we need, oops, what we need to do is add a section to make the page longer. So once again, add new section. Now you can see how it's divided up here. 
we want to add one just underneath the one we just created. So add new section here. And you can literally drag these blue grid lines to make the section bigger. What we do next is we're going to add a headline. And just type out what you want it to say. What you'll learn in this course. Once again, can change the color and we can make it bold. Great. So then you just drag it to where you want it to be on the page. Oh, that bold didn't stick. Good. And make sure you're centering it if that's how you want it to look. Okay, so now we've got um, an opportunity to add some more little graphics that have been designed ahead of time. So once again, we're clicking Add New and Image. So if we refer back to our copy here, we learn um, what you'll learn in this free course. The first thing we learn is how to start a WordPress blog. So we're going to add the WordPress logo. And it literally just drops in just like that. So we'll resize it and then we need to add the words. So copy, add new paragraph, and there it is. So I'm going to go really quickly, add the rest of the words and graphics, and then we'll come back to laying it all out. One tip for you here, if you've created an element that you want to duplicate over and over again, as I will here, because I have a new statement for each of these little graphics, you can come click on um, what you want and then click on duplicate. So it just literally duplicates the element for you right underneath. So that helps if you have um, formatted your text and you want it to be exactly the same. Okay, so let me get our words in. Okay, easy as that. Now let's make sure everything is aligned. We want it the graphic centered and we want it, um, the text to be centered with the graphic. Okay, and now I'm just eyeballing this and I can see that I have it a little bit pushed too far to the left. So using your mouse, you can click and select everything and move it over and as a group it will align for you just like that now um, if we go back to our example you can see I added these um, little bars here to delineate between the graphic and the words and also we can see that the words were a different color so let's quickly just add the bar this is done with the shape tool we can make boxes, circles, horizontal lines, and vertical lines. For now, we'll be using the vertical line. So you click that and it pops in. You literally are just dragging and dropping to have it create the shape you want. Now here is, and what I did is just double clicked on it. You can make your line width um, straight, dash, dotted, and make this a little bit thicker. So let's do five. You can also change the color there if you want. So once I've created this element one time, what can I do? Duplicate. Super fast and easy. Okay, now if we look back at our example, underneath this explanation, I added an image. But as you can see, we've hit the bottom of our grid. So literally just grab it, drag it, 
to make your section bigger. So let's go grab that image. Add new, image, insert. So when you insert an image, it all automatically stretches it to the outside edges of your page, but you can just grab a corner and resize it. So let's make it as wide as our title. And I'm thinking we don't need it this big. So what we can do is click on this button, edit mask. And that literally will let us crop the image down. So only that part is showing. Then hit done. Look, isn't that great? Okay, now I'm going to show you a fun way to add a little bit of detail here like this graphic. So our next thing we're going to do is add a new section right below the image there. And we're going to make this one smaller like that. Again, click on the edit button for the background of the section and we're going to add our image. So on here, what you want, the position doesn't necessarily matter because the image is repeating itself, but that's where you want to uh, make these selections. Stretch to the edges of your page. So if you unclick that, it would just go inside um, the column there, but this stretches all the way out. And you want to tile it because then it'll duplicate itself enough times to stretch the full length, no matter how big or little you go with your browser like that. See? Okay, so now one of the coolest things about Instapage um, and why I recommend using sections like this is that it has a built in mobile response version that you can go in and edit yourself. So it's up here on this version or this button here, you click mobile and then it pops up. So this is what your page would look like if somebody looked at it on a phone or on a tablet. So you can make um, edits here so that things look a little bit cleaner for here as well. The elements in each section automatically copy over, but they might not be in the right order. So that's why it's always good to double check what it looks like on this side. So literally just resize things, center them, see how it looks. See, there's that. And it makes sense to do it like this if you're reading it on a phone instead of like our bulleted list on the other page. Just clean and easy. The other good part is that you can preview both versions. So your um, desktop version and your mobile version. So let's click preview just to give you a quick glance at this. So we've got our logo and our link. And then this is what it would all look like on a phone. Except as we're looking at it, you can see this seems a little weird because of how the image is um, cropping for the size of the device. So let's go back to our um, to our page here and we're going to play with the, sh the um, positioning of the image. So it automatically does it the top left and we want it on center. So click done and preview. See? Much better. Now you can see the hand on the keyboard. While we're here, let's take a quick peek at our desktop version. So there you have it. Super easy, drag and drop, no coding knowledge necessary. And the end result is a beautiful landing or sales page made with Instapage. Thanks so much.